We're back in Grand Cross Age of Titans today with a spending guide designed to help accelerate your progress. And if you're just seeing Grand Cross Age of Titans for the first time, this is a city building war game with open field movement and combat, including flying units, ranged units, and massive titans that truly disrupt the battlefield. And if you want to check out Grand Cross Age of Titans, consider checking out the link in the description. Today's video is sponsored by the makers of Grand Cross Age of Titans, and I have really enjoyed playing the game so far. The grand launch of the game has officially started, which means that it's available for iOS, Android, and also the PC client, which is what I'm playing right now. So if you were waiting to start in Grand Cross Age of Titans for the launch of the game, it's finally here. Today, it's official. Now, I also have gone in and done a moderate amount of spending in order to accelerate my progress in the game. And I always like to find value. In fact, the tagline for my channel is how to get value and smash your enemies. So what I'm going to do today is just review some of the bundles that I found to be disproportionately good to give you huge progress in Grand Cross Age of Titans. So with all of that said, there's several categories of bundles, and you probably noticed the cash shop is labeled very clearly in the top portion of your screen. And as you build up your city, you're going to get a series of offers. Now, many of these offers are here all the time, but some of those offers will appear to the right of the cash shop, and they are time limited. There are many time limited bundles, but there are two that I think we really need to talk about. The first time limited bundle I'm going to put up on the screen and this is the one that got me to start spending in the game. It is basically, I mean, just a shocking number of skills onto a purple quality hero. And they're not kidding when they listed 45,000 plus uh, percent value compared to other bundles. Yeah, the value's there. I bought this bundle and I have no regrets. I still haven't chosen which hero I'm going to put the sort of tokens onto, which is funny. But I'm probably going to drop those mana stones onto... Jeanette, that will be topic for a separate video. Now, there's another bundle that you'll get when you summon a legendary hero. So to show you what this looks like, I have obtained Karma's Mana Stones. I'm going to hit Summon. When I do that, she is now available. Congratulations, I've now won the hero. And boom, the Golden Hope pop-up. This bundle is also super high value. Um, it lists it at 6,400%, but it's really all about the stars and mana stones at the legendary quality. So this is how I get the majority of my legendary mana stones. When I summon a hero, I then get the mana stone uh, from this bundle. It costs five bucks, which seems to me like a pretty standard price in this genre of game. And so, yeah, I'm in. I also get some experience, but I'm really here primarily um, for the items on the left, okay? Legendary uh, Mana Stone and the Legendary Star Level Fragments. Now, there's a couple other things that happen when you spend that are really important. What you might notice in your cash shop is that if you haven't done any spending yet, there's gonna be something that gives you extra rewards for buying bundles that have gems. That is amazing. You will get a lot of value by going through and making some of those purchases, and those are slam dunk, really great value. OK, in addition, there are several other packs that are available all the time. They're not time limited. And I want to go through some of these and talk about the ones that I am currently buying and the ones that I would buy in the future. OK, the first one we need to talk about is the blessing of growth. This is related to your castle level and you get a bunch of gems as your castle levels up. You don't need to buy this right away. You honestly don't. I think it's like 10 bucks, maybe 15 and this is really solid value as you make your way to castle level 25. And you could just wait until your castle 25 and buy it then if you wanted. And that's when you get a truckload of gems. I think around the castle level 21 uh, tier is where you start to break even in terms of the value of the sort of gems that you've gotten. And once you get 23 and 25, it's like really just massive upside for the amount of value you're getting by virtue of spending in the game. In addition, there are other bundles that I'm looking at. And I'm like, man, I should probably get onto these already. Um, and that includes the gem supplies, speed up supplies, and I probably would pass on the resource supply just because, like, personally, I gather a lot of resources and I'm pretty good at it. Um, so these bundles give a lot of raw gems, which are super valuable uh, in playing different events that show up in the game. Specifically, you can use those gems either um, over here in your 
uh, trading port, but I think more importantly, uh, increasing your VIP at the start of the game is very important, or alternatively, you can go to your star fragment, and there are occasionally summons that are available for, for a legendary hero, and you can get a bunch of mana stones. So this is the way I sort of think you can accumulate a lot of gems toward doing stuff like that. Okay, in addition, bunch of things here. There are value packs. Now you can see these list the sort of value associated with them. 700% is pretty typical. Here's 855%. So the value on these is lower than the time limited bundles, which you might expect. And each of these does different things. Um, for example, this one's about training and healing. Um, this one over here is a dimensional map. Let's you transfer between kingdoms. So migrating to a new kingdom is kind of a big deal. These bundles, I wouldn't look to early on. I would look other places first to get really great value. For example, one place where you can get great value if you're interested in the heroes that are here, that includes Isaac, Corvo, and Melaby, is the daily hero discount. And this would cost you six bucks to buy these individually, but you can buy them all for five bucks. This to me seems like a really high value bundle. You're getting stamina recovery, which you can turn into resources, speed ups and experience, a prayer book, and also some speed ups, and also a chest containing mana stones. Um, and you know, the number of mana stones you get, you probably could do some math on this to see like what you think the average number is going to be. 52% um, of the time, you're gonna get a normal prayer book, which is not an amazing pull. However, to get legendary mana stones in this game is very difficult. So this is probably a, I think the best way to be accelerating these three heroes that, that are available here. But there is one other thing that I have bought that I think is better value than this over here, um, the daily hero discount, which is right over here. It's basically a battle pass, okay? You go into Lari's mansion, and contained here, there are two extra tiers of this battle pass where basically you do quests and you log in every day and it gives you credit, okay? And the 5,000 gem tier for the common souvenir, super worth, even if you're free to play. I think you should slam dunk snap that off if you're even moderately active in the game. The uncommon souvenir was like 10 or 15 bucks. And I bought this for a couple reasons. First of all, it gives you 50% more travel records, which is I think progress towards your battle pass over here. Um, and also it gives you five levels instantly, which I thought was nice. So the highest tier of rewards becomes unlocked at that point in time. That's going to include five mana stones, legendary quality at the top, army expansions, speed ups, resources, um, and a bunch of stuff on the way. Here's 10 summons that I got, uh, the advanced prayer books. Here I got five legendary mana stones. I mean, the value is just super, super high on battle passes in general, and that's absolutely true here. In addition, you get bonus gems. Every time Lari's travel level increases, you get a certain amount of bonus gems that accumulate and you get them at the end of the season, which is kind of cool. So the battle pass is kind of a slam dunk if you're spending in Grand Cross Age of Titans for sure. Uh, the final place that I want to talk about with regard to spending is in the VIP section. Now, this is really interesting because you've got two heroes here that you can get. The first one is Sekhmet and her name is behind me. I'll scroll that up. You see Sekhmet Mana Stones over here. I went and I did this because I was like, yeah, I'm kind of interested in playing around with this legendary cavalry hero, and she seems pretty good. However, I will point out that Sekhmet has two skills dedicated toward fighting monsters in the open field. One gives you monster damage boost and hero experience boost, and I love hero experience boost. The other gives you uh, a light heal whenever battles end and it's a small amount of healing now this might be okay for battling players but i would assume that it i just don't think you're leaving combat that much when you fight other players so this could could be decent when you fight other players but i expect that it won't be so sekmet is a legendary hero that like she's good for monster hunting but i don't know how good she'll be for player versus player combat and so um i haven't moved all in on her yet Maybe I will at some point. To do that, you need to make your way all the way to VIP level 10. There's 260 Sekhmet mana stones. And at that point, I believe you'll have her maxed, although I don't know for sure because I haven't done it yet. Once you get to VIP level 11, then you can start buying the mana stones for Erdel. And this is a garrison or, or station 
hero, one that's very good at defending stuff, and she has a really big heal on her active skill. So this is something that you could do theoretically if you want. I can't tell you how good she is because I haven't actually used her yet, but I'll assume she's pretty strong, okay? Legendary quality heroes usually do not disappoint. Um, and at VIP 16, you actually don't get any more hero tokens. So in terms of prioritization for things to buy, I think the pop-up bundles, as I was mentioning earlier, like this one related to heroes, Golden Hope, and also the epic equivalent for 45,000% value was really, really good. You'll also get bundles just so many times that pop up as you do things. When you upgrade your castle, you get some. Potentially your academy, you'll get some. Your troops. I got lots of bundles all, all throughout. But the ones that were so good that I was like, I'm I'm definitely picking this up as a, as a light spender so far in this game. That could change any time, right? Was the Golden Hope and, and the other epic quality bundle. Those were so good, okay? Even leveling up your heroes to 20, 30, 40, 50, is going to give you a bundle pop-up and you can consider buying those. But your priorities start with this bundle over here, Golden Hope, goes to the Battle Pass, which I think is amazing. And then in the cash shop, I would start to prioritize your daily distributors and also your blessing of growth. Um, and let's see here. I haven't done the Unstoppable Force. I actually should look more into this the Unstoppable Force for 10 bucks is probably super high value. You hit combat point goals, and then you get rewards for it. And it looks like I can get a lot of training speeds and um, also resources for doing this. But just like the bundle uh, that I showed you over here, Blessing of Growth, you don't have to buy this until you actually, you know, have the majority of the rewards unlocked, and then you can go get it, okay? From there... The daily hero discount is really good, and then you could start to look at things like the value packs with a preference, again, towards pop-ups, typically being higher value than what you can get over here. That's why they're time-limited, because the value is higher, and they want you to act on them in a short period of time, okay? There is also a rotating bundle that I have not yet explored, the Call of the Legend, um, and this gives a legendary hero prayer book. Obtain a legendary hero from an advanced summon according to chance. I haven't messed around with the legendary hero prayer books, but this does seem like it's got a really high chance of giving you, a, well, 100% chance of giving you a legendary. Hopefully it's one that you wanted. That's kind of interesting. So 20 bucks, it gives you 10 mana stones of a hero, but you don't get to choose which one it is. So you can see why the $5 bundle is really interesting um, because that gives you 10 legendary mana stones as well. This costs you $20. You're getting other stuff and it's random. So prioritizing the bundles can get you some extra value if you spend in Grand Cross Age of Titans. Of course, you can also play 100% free to play. And if that's something you want to do, spending or not, check out the link in the description to check out Grand Cross Age of Titans. I've really enjoyed my progression so far. I'm at 4 million power and climbing, but I'm only a couple weeks in, and pretty soon I should be unlocking some Tier 4 troops, which should be pretty cool. So consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to see more guides and videos for Grand Cross Age of Titans, consider downloading the game using the link in the description. A big thank you again to Grand Cross Age of Titans for sponsoring today's video. It's sponsors like Grand Cross Age of Titans that allow me to create content full-time on YouTube, and I freaking love it. And if you want to see more videos about this game, Card will be in the end screen in just a second, showcasing some of the endgame more advanced combat and also a basic overview of the game.